What is up guys? Welcome to Supercars of London. I am in Birmingham. I have driven the beautiful BMW M4 CS because I've come to Pro Drift Academy. These are the UK headquarters. However, today we have got a special guest because if you haven't been able to tell from the title or the thumbnail, today is going to be an epic drift masterclass showing me everything that I need to know about how to become a professional drift car driver. Going from what you need to look like to the skill level that you need to have and i've got a very special guest so peden would you like to come in Oi! <laughs> <laughs> if you don't recognize this guy sam flew over to ireland to learn how to drift with you and you had so much fun and i was so jealous of him oh, because yeah. that was when i was really starting to realize that this is something that i wanted to do much more long term so if this is all completely new and alien to you guys i announced a couple of weeks ago when I was in Sweden that I was going to become a, or try and train to become a professional drift car driver. We've had many conversations going backwards and forwards. A lot of work has gone on behind the scenes and the guys at Pro Drift Academy have been incredibly accommodating. So Very today yeah. you're going to show me the levels that the Pro Drift Academy has from rookie to semi-pro to professional, which hopefully I will progress through at a relative pace. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah, <laughs> some of these cars have got some damage on. Let's hope that they don't have more damage on by the end of Probably. It's <laughs> <laughs> not our guys, right? Exactly. <laughs> so, I suppose let's jump straight up to the rookie level. You can show me everything that you need to, well, that I need to learn, yeah. and then go on to semi-pro because I think that's perfectly the starting point, right? Yeah, let's do it. I want one of your suits. This racing suit is yeah, well, sick. It can be arranged. It can be arranged. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do this. All right, dude. So we're, what we're going to try and do is this is the absolute beginning uh, yeah. level of drifting. So we're just going to go around this little area here. It, they, they wet the surface to make it easier for the slip to occur and the drifting to start. Yeah. And um, but also it shows. Um, it, it enables you to learn how to control when there's very little grip. Okay. So it's a great way to get you started. If it was dry now, it'd be very hard to get started. Okay, so we're going to use the hydraulic handbrake. Yep. So clutch in, handbrake up. <laughs> and straighten back up again. Clutch in, handbrake up. Nice and smooth. <laughs> and that's it it's simple stuff i think you'll be all right so i think what we do now is this is the rookie area yeah you know what to expect here now i think we'll come back here again in a while let's go to a place that has walls <laughs> yeah barriers yeah and immovable objects <laughs> to drift around in a big circle. Okay. So let's go to the oval where yeah. the semi-pro course takes place and the more advanced stuff as well. Right, so once you've graduated here, you go on to stuff. You like go on that. to bigger and better okay. and scarier stuff. Show me how to do it properly. Let's do it, let's go. <laughs> let's get the sensation of what a little bit more speed versus what we did before yeah feels like okay so this is now where i'm gonna like we've we've, we've seen you master class the rookie level mm. and now let's see what actually pro drifting looks like yeah so the only thing you got to worry about now is what part of the car are you going to hang on to <laughs> <laughs> there's not much there's not much don't hang on to me okay <laughs> whatever you do don't hang on to me So many things going on in your head, right? Yeah. But always, you want to try with drifting. You want to try and make it looking nice or looking good, right? Yeah. So because style is an element. Isn't oh, it? absolutely, it's huge element, style and impact. Yeah. But if you end up with a massive tank slap at the end of it, it just <laughs> looks <laughs> terrible. You're like, that'll be me. <laughs> if I spin and you add it to the video, you're getting the punch, right? <laughs> so we'll try again with a little bit of power over. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
simplistic it'll sound really boring which is just you turn left then you turn right you turn <laughs> left and then you turn right there's it's always the coolest way of turning left and right it now. is though <laughs> <laughs> so there's always a reaction to everything you do so as we go through the more advanced parts and we get more speed into it what you're going to find is that any bit of stalling on the steering wheel is bad okay. so you always want to be moving even if it's a little bit yeah because you're keeping your senses going yeah so if I turn right, always a little little counter reaction, just to kind of keep your hands yeah, going. Yeah. So we've gone around the easy way, which is left. Yeah. So let's try it right. Uh -oh. So this is now, from my perspective, nice because you are now on the wall side. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm gonna get close now, aren't I? <laughs> Alright, we'll start off nice and slow and then we'll do an initiation. Okay. So what you hear is it's like wop 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 wop. Just like with your hands, constant steering wheel movement, always Post. constant throttling okay. as well. And what we what you learn from that is that sometimes I'm at let's say if we're we're going in, in scale of hundred percent is full throttle and zero is nothing, right? So if you're constantly feathering the throttle, if you feel as if you need more, then you can move it in a bit further. But let's say you always pick a little point. So let's say with this car underpowered, overweight, I'm at like between 60 and 80% yeah. most of the time when I'm feathering. If I then need a little bit more, I've got another 20% to kind of get us out of something. Yeah. Let's try an initiation. <laughs> I don't know, like a uni initiation is a bad word. Is <laughs> <laughs> and I think we just popped a tire. Really? <laughs> <laughs> so let's give the car a bit of a break. We've obviously de-beated something already. <laughs> and let's see what the car is like. And I think we should start by swapping seats a little bit, maybe. Oh, really? So I let's start, can we start on the baby track first? Can I at least get a little bit of practice? Let's do that, maybe, yeah. yeah I want to do the academy properly. Yeah. Otherwise, I will die. <laughs> Woo! That one's done, Yeah? What did it feel like from a speed point of view? Was that alright? Yeah, that was fast. So that's second gear, right? Yeah. So when we go into full-on competition, yeah. we're topping out at fourth gear, fifth gear depending on ratio, anywhere between 90 and 100 miles an hour. Yeah, so that's for you, super basic. Yeah, yeah. This is, this is low momentum, yeah. nice and controllable. Well, you get there. <laughs> so I think, let's summarize a little bit and let's get I wanted you to get you familiar with the car a little bit, yeah. and I think we head over to the smaller track. Okay. Get the techniques dialed in. Yeah. And let's smash a car. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> let's build from the foundations up. Yeah. Right, my turn to drive. I think that has been the perfect start to this drift journey. <laughs> that's like episode one done. Done. Because that's like the masterclass for the Pro Drift Academy. My flight is in, yeah, 20 minutes. Let's, <laughs> <laughs> let's take so, the, uh, the M4. Yeah, Yeah, BMW would love that. <laughs> they would love to see a car come back with no front bumper, no rear bumper, all sorts of stuff. So yeah, right now I'm gonna jump in the driver's seat and uh, get to grips, which is going to be a completely separate video because right now I feel like this video is at least half an hour's worth of <laughs> This is like a TV episode. <laughs> I might as well just, why not? So ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. Please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't, and make sure that you stay tuned because in 24 hours time, you are going to see me jump in the driver's seat of a drift car for the first time. Who knows what's gonna happen? Well, I don't know. <laughs> don't look at me. <laughs>